topic. Do you guys remember when we were kids how, like, a lot of people you knew had to get tubes in their ears? There are statistics that support the fact that children with ASD are much more likely to be recommended this tube treatment than other children. Those ear tubes he's talking about are called grommets, and there are really two prevailing theories on why people with autism seem to be recommended them more often. The first is that there are genuine subtle physical changes inside the autistic person's ear that make infections more likely, and that's backed with the fact that a severe infection called mastoiditis seems to be twice more common in people with ASD. The second, which there's also evidence for, is a different processing of sound and delayed language development, which we're incorrectly attributing as ear infections. And this could be compounded by the fact that to effectively diagnose an ear infection, you need to be able to sit a child down and look in there, which might be more difficult in autistic children. That means there's a possibility that some of these grommets were inserted when they didn't need to be. And so increased understanding, awareness and research into this may help us prevent unnecessary procedures for autistic people. What's your experience?